my guys support the Club Turbo coaching and training program to make sure you guys get the most out of your software. So I'm going to assume you're new, you haven't made these before, and this all looks like it's pretty complex to you. I'm going to break it down for you in a bunch of smaller videos. Do you more intermediate and advanced guys? Just try to scoop along and follow what you need to pick up so you understand where the basics are. It works like most other DAWs, but for those that haven't used one before, um, I'd like to just go over this quickly in this first video to show you the most important aspects of this. Up here is pretty self explanatory. It's your BPM. Right now it's at 120. And if you turn our metronome on, which is right here, you'll get a tick. If I press play right now, you'll hear a tick at 120 BPM. Okay, it's over a blank hand, there's nothing in there, that just gives you sort of a metronome to follow and bob your head to to figure out how fast you want your beat. Right here are your most important tools. Your arrow, your pencil, your eraser. These other buttons don't worry about for now. And these are all self-explanatory, we'll go into them in a moment. However, for now, I'm going to make sure you understand that this pencil is really important. And then over here on the right side of the buttons, these are your bars. It might be hard to see, but right now it's at a bar count of two. And that's what we'll work with to start so you understand how to work all this. First thing I want you to do, click on your pencil tool, and on drum, a drum track, which is numbers one through four, which are changeable, but don't change them, don't change nothing here yet, just simply drag, or dra uh, grab your pencil tool and drag two bars by clicking, holding, and dragging your left mouse button. Just click, hold, and drag all the way through. You now have two bars to play with on the drum track. And what I want you to understand is, on a drum track, once you lay something, click on the bars you just created, if you click edit, you will get our drum editor, or our sampling sequencer, or our little MPC lookalike, whatever you want to call it. It's very intuitive, but I want you to understand that it's pretty simple. From here to here is 10 layers of sounds. Those sounds are right here. Right here are all your different drum kits, and you can add more and import your own samples, which we'll go through in another video. So right here we can just choose a fit, let's say R&B. Say we don't like it, choose RB2. We don't like it, punches. There's also kits here that aren't just drums, but also fills, effects. I just want to hear punches. Okay, so a bunch of wicked samples that have all been customized just for that trouble. Nothing here has been scooped or taken from Google or anything. We made all these in house, altered them, affected them, stereo imaged them, so all the drums are wicked, and it will be easy for you guys to build the beats. And make them sound really professional right from the start because you're working with wicked samples. So here, what we'll do is the same thing. These three buttons or uh, tools are the most important of this screen. You can change your tempo here too. You can turn your metronome on or off. It's universal. So if you do, click it on here. Or if you change tempo here, let's see what we go. What you heard there was me pressing the keyboard and it triggered our sound. So I'll point that out right now. One through ten on your keyboard that you type on, okay, is Before you even lay anything back, you can kind of you can turn your metronome on, let that play. One, two, three, four, just start. Once you figure out what you kind of want your beat to sound, then you can draw them in, or you can press record, play, and then record them with the keys on your keyboard. Um, just look at one slide, go through once. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, here we go. Okay, stop it. If you notice anything's out of place, simply grab the arrow tool and move it over. If you don't like where something sits, it's easy to move. And if you want to erase anything, simply grab your eraser, erase. Pencil tool, draw back in. Okay, down here, say we want the hi hats, right there's the label. Add a hi hat, everyone's. Very simple. Turn the metronome back off, and okay. Now what we'll do is change up this drum kit live, so we want to see how this pattern sounds with a different kit. Kind of sounds weird. Change that again. Set nice and deep and dirty. Drum and bass. Let's go back to the dirty south. This one sounded nice. Close this up. We'll do the same thing on layer two. Okay? Drag your and draw your pencil. Draw in two bars by holding the dragon. Let go. Click back on your parallel tool. 
click on the bars, click edit. One thing I haven't shown you yet is this P. Before you even click edit, you can click P and it'll pull up this same kit source from here, here in a separate panel. So let's close that and this is what you get. So you can draw in your bars, click on it, then click P, click whatever you want, and it and you already have your kit here. You can also change kits here. So let's try with this one. So again, we'll do this on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we can click on the bars, click edit, and see what we just laid. There's what we just laid live with using the keyboard we used. Putting things out of whack. Again, simply just snap them into place if you know they're off. And now we have two layers of drums going over each other, which is really nice and dubbed We can change the volume of each here. So these 16 layers are all these 16 layers. It's important to understand. Okay, so there's a quick two bar count. Lastly, I'm just going to quickly show you this. Change here by holding, selecting, say you put this to four ashes, we get eight. Right now we have two bars, right? So these are two bars. We can simply holding down the shift on your keyboard that you type on, hold down shift, click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and drag. So if something is moving for you properly right off the hop on those first two bars or first one bar even, simply extend it. Other ways that you can get it to loop properly if there's a little bit of a gap is change just by one tempo piece, and that seems to sometimes make the the loops happen to place properly. So here we have that same beat altered and dupl or sorry, duplicated four times and we'll alter one next. Peace.